high water swamp parts of Texas and Oklahoma late Saturday and early Sunday. Crews rescued dozens of stranded people and record high rivers prompted evacuation orders. Bridges were destroyed, homes inundated with water, and residents ordered to evacuate after heavy rain across parts of Texas and Oklahoma resulted in severe flooding on Saturday and Sunday. The National Weather Service warned that the flooding had created a dangerous and life-threatening situation in parts of Oklahoma and Texas. Flash flood warnings cover dozens of counties, while wind and high water reportedly wreaked havoc on roads and buildings. On Saturday, a firefighter was killed while he attempted to rescue 10 people. Capped Jason Farley was in northeast Oklahoma's around 11.30 p.m. when he was swept away. His body was found an hour later in a drainage ditch, according to the Associated Press. He had been a firefighter for 20 years. At least one other person was also killed in Oklahoma on Saturday. A 33-year-old woman in Tulsa died after her car hydroplaned, said Kelly Kane, the state's emergency management spokeswoman, according to CNN. Officials in San Marcos, Texas, said Sunday afternoon that at least one person had been killed in the flooding.